Rage Town is the garbage dump of Japan, a place where people want to forget their past, run to. In this town, where the rules strictly forbid asking about the past or getting to know people, there's a small detective called S.A. Detective. The story runs about Ayame, the inseparable pair of mysteries want to be detected. The case Manai takes on impulse and the troubles that arise from it. On the case, they find a woman who is abnormally hot and who's being chased by a bunch of women with guns. After being dubbed Sarah, the detectives try to figure out just what is going on with her. At the same time, all over town, teenage girls are burning up and turning into glass. The government is covering everything up, but the detectives as well as the news reporter and local police are determined to find out what is happening. This anime about 12 episode premiere April 9th to June 25th of 2008. That's off original series. It is action and sci-fi. Each episode is 20 minutes per episode. It's ready at 17 plus for Violence and Profanity. Let's get started into the review. What I really like about this anime that was really impeached my interest is like the first episode you're already like thrown into the series and what I really like about it though it's sort of like, like an old like sitcom classic crime show but with more of like a dark noir twist to it but the interesting fact is that these girls were turned into like glass, glass, diamond-ish statues that I thought was interesting but overall the story is okay but I think what really makes the it shows have the gritty noir near futuristic world is the characters there are a lot of them but they're very interesting that and with an combined interesting setting as ragtown as they are located in japan is an interesting setting and i think you know if you love that type of you know crime noir show and you know not really in the mood for a plot heavy story heavy anime then I think this one's pretty good for you the plot is interesting and the story doesn't really drag on more than like other animes do the plot is a little more complex than you know normally but the characters I feel like even though they don't go a lot more details on their life it does focus more on the case at hand here where a girl is getting chased and a lot of girls are turning into statues and the government is surprisingly trying to hide everything up so, you know, there's going to be a, a twist of supernatural here element in this anime with what to expect in a type of crime noir anime crime TV show, which I thoroughly enjoy. But overall, I think having said this, you know, with everyone's, you know, choice about animes to watch, the Brassine, and, you know, having our lovely girl here, Sarah, who is tries to being chased by other random girls with guns, you know, she will also be another main focal point in this anime as well. So do keep your eye out for her. And on the other cast, including the pair of detectives who are kind of overlooked by the government. But, you know, what's a good detective trying to uncover the dirt whole caught you what's actually going down in this town? So I think if you're more like snooper sleuth, I should say, and like into taking notes and trying to figure out the crime along with detective, then that's kind of your show. But as far for Glass Made, I think this is an interesting anime to try. Oh, I would give this honestly, since I think it's really unappreciated, gen, like a 6.4 out of 10. You know, I just wish, you know, we just dove more, a little more backstory into this kid. Like, they flesh them out even more to make it even more relatable. That is my opinion. I'm just a sucker for the story and good tagline, great character development, which this story and this anime could have done, but, you know, to use their own when they're given such a short time frame to record so many episodes and in spare time for, and to pump out every year. Especially when this came out in 2008, they did a pretty good job. But definitely check out Glass Mating if you haven't already. And comment down below what anime review you want to review next. But until next time, I will see you real soon for another anime review. Till then, bye!